Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, and I know there's a bunch of new subscribers that have joined recently, my name's Iman. Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you're here because today I am very excited to sit down and film this brand new look for you guys. So if you don't know, I just recently came out with a makeup collaboration with Catrice Cosmetics. It's an eyeshadow palette, a highlighter palette, and a blush palette. And I've been so inspired recently because I've been seeing a lot of people posting beautiful, gorgeous looks with these palettes. And I recently saw two looks that I absolutely loved and I'm like, oh, I need to sit down and film. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing right now is like, I'm gonna recreate some of these looks that I got inspired by, two looks in particular. And I'm also gonna be using a lot of other Catrice products that I really love just to show you guys some great products from the brand. And if you are gonna go shopping, you can maybe make a little makeup shopping list. <laughs> First product that I am using is one of my favorite products from Catrice. It is their Lip Sugar Scrub. This is basically a lip scrub in a tube. This stuff is awesome. I love to use this to prep my lips as I'm starting my makeup. So by the time I go do my lips, my lips are like incredibly soft and smooth. This is great if you have any type of dry lips or flakiness at all, this is gonna get rid of all of that. After I wipe that off, I'm using the Catrice Lip Oil. This has almond oil in it and it's got this little dropper. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, plop that on my finger, just like that, and just work that into my lips. This is like the ultimate way to prep your lips. I'm gonna do my eyes first and then come back to the skin. And for this look today, I was inspired by two people. The first video that I saw was by one of my good, good friends, Angie Michaelian. If you guys don't know who she is, I'm gonna include all her information so you can look her up. She is a professional makeup artist. She's amazing. She does gorgeous makeup. And she did the most beautiful look using my palette. So that was my first inspiration. I am taking the Catrice Camouflage Concealer. I'm gonna use that as my base all over my lid. Second inspiration that I had was from a YouTuber that I love. Her name is Ali Glines. Ali, I really hope I'm saying your last name right. I love Ali so much. I'm gonna link her video in the description box because she did the most beautiful makeup using these palettes. If I saw her in person and I would just like looked at her with the makeup look she did, I would have been like, girl, what did you use on your eyes? Because it looked stunning on her. Her whole face, her eyes, her cheeks, the highlight, everything looks stunning. If you don't know her channel, make sure you go check it out. Both Ellie and Angie inspired me to do the look that I'm gonna do today. I hope I can do both their looks justice. So I really love using the Catrice Camouflage as a base. It works so well. I like just applying a little bit and blending it out. I'm gonna be starting with the Catrice Time Zimon Bronzed AF Eyeshadow Palette. This is a brand new one. The one that I'm actually using is over here, you guys, because it's destroyed. <laughs> that looks so bad, but that's why it's over there. I use it a lot, as you can tell, but when I'm showing you guys the colors, I'm gonna be using this beautiful clean one. <laughs> so the first shade that I'm gonna be using is Fairfax. This is a beautiful nude, all over shade. The best response that I've been getting, oh, I just did the new one, whoops. Now it's not perfect anymore. <laughs> um, the best response that I've been getting about all three palettes is that the shades are universal and they work on everyone, which is so amazing to hear because that was honestly one of my biggest goals when I was creating these colors. I really wanted to make sure that everyone of all skin tones, no matter what your skin tone was, that these colors would work for you. The next color that I'm using is Sunset, which is this beautiful, warm, brownie tone, but it's like a great crease color. I want this color to really show up. So I'm going back and forth and I'm adding a lot. I'm not gonna be too cautious with this. I love that these colors are just like so easy to blend. These shadows are really, really easy to work with. 
so you can kind of work pretty fast with them. Once I get it to kind of where I want it, I'm gonna take my brush and start blending outwards towards the tip of my eyebrows. So just blending the shadow up. So instead of it just being in the crease, now we're just creating this beautiful shape that I really love. I think it's one of the most flattering shapes on the eyes. So instead of your eyeshadow just being like super round, this kind of extends your eye and it just makes your eye look super sleek and sexy, which honestly looks good on everyone. And I saw Ali do it and it looked great on her. It looked amazing on Angie. Angie's eyes are like really big and wide, so it looked really beautiful on her too. So next I am taking the shade Runyon, which is this beautiful ready brown, <clears throat> Sorry guys, I wanna apologize if the volume or if the audio isn't great in this video. Oh, I just dipped in a new one again. <laughs> I'm not concentrating. I do wanna apologize if the audio isn't great in this video. I had to use a different mic than I usually do, but don't worry guys, I have it fixed for you in my next video. And I'm using this in the outer corner. The brush that I'm using now has more of this flat, rounded shape to it, so the tip is rounded, which is really nice for that outer corner. And then you can see that it's nice and flat shaped this way. So then when I take that shadow, I could just like pack it in just right there. And I really just want that color in the outer corner. And then I'm taking a little bit more of a small tapered blending brush. This is the Sigma F63. This brush is from Huda Beauty. This is the Smoke and Smudge brush and it has the double ended but back to the Sigma and now I'm just going to blend that red brown shadow Runyon into that first shade that we applied and the trick with this is that you don't want to apply too much right away you kind of just want to build right so I'm gonna blend it out I'm gonna lose some of that shadow when I blend it which is totally okay because now we're just gonna go back and add more. But this is really how you get like beautiful, beautiful application. The key is to just blend, apply, blend, apply, blend, apply. I am taking the shade Hollywood, which is this beautiful golden bronzy shade that everyone seems to be loving, which makes me so happy. And I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna wet it. I'm just using a little bit of Fix Plus. Oh, when you wet this shade, you guys, it looks stunning on. And today I'm also gonna really show you how you can use all three palettes for different things. That gold is stunning. It blends in with the other shades so nicely. So this is one of the things I love about this collection is that you can really mix and match the palettes and do so many different things with them. So I am taking the Lit Highlighter Palette. The brand new one looks so gorgeous. <laughs> and I'm gonna be taking the shade Victoria, which is this beautiful gold shade, and I'm using that on my eyes. I'm also gonna use a bit of Whistler, which is the really white shade. I'm actually gonna do this with my finger. I'm just picking up that gold shadow and just putting that right in the center of my lid and blending it in to, kind of blending it in between the two shades. And it just gives this really subtle pop just right in the middle. I'm taking the black and the brown from the palette, Sweetser and Mulholland Drive. Sweetser is a nice dark brown, Mulholland is a black. And what I love to do as an option, instead of doing like a traditional eyeliner, doing this is so much easier and it looks so beautiful. I'm taking a nice big angled brush. This is the Sigma Line Perfector E68, my Fix Plus. I'm gonna wet the brush one more time, actually for the first time. <laughs> and then I'm gonna dip my brush in both shades, the brown and the black. And this is going to help us get a really beautiful line on our lid without having to do eyeliner, which can be really stressful sometimes, <laughs> especially if you've like done your whole look and now you're like, okay, time to do eyeliner. And then you, for some reason, mess up the whole look you mess up your liner 
I've done that before where I've literally done my entire eyeshadow look and then the liner just got so jacked that I had to take everything off, usually followed by a lot of tears because <laughs> that is the worst thing ever. So I'm just taking this liner all the way in because I kind of want this to be a little bit dramatic. So I, you guys could see I took this all the way to the inner corner and I'm really just letting the brush do the work. I'm not really kind of doing anything. I'm just letting the brush guide me. I'm pushing it into my lash line and it's okay if there's a little bit of fallout because we are going to still clean up and do our foundation. So I really want to bring this out into my crease. So I'm flipping the brush around. And I'm going back with that double-ended Huda Beauty brush. And now I'm going in with the smudger side and I'm using the brown shadow just to kind of smoke out just this outer corner. So this is gonna give the effect that the liner is a lot smokier rather than just like a harsh line. And it's gonna really just smoke out just that outer corner. So I'm going in with the other side of the brush and just blending that all out. I'm taking a makeup wipe, getting rid of all that fallout. One of my worst habits, you guys, is that I never put my lashes back in their packaging or in the right packaging after I use them. So I apologize because I have no idea which lashes these are. But you want lashes that are extra long on the outer corner. That's what these are. So you're gonna get a lot of length just right on that outer corner. I'm gonna throw these lashes on. I'm gonna put a little clip because I really want you guys to see the makeup that Angie did. She's not on YouTube, she's only on Instagram and her Instagram is amazing. So I'm gonna put a little clip of the look because the look turned out so beautiful. We have very different eye shapes, but hopefully my inspired version will look good as well. Angie's actually one of my best friends here in LA. We just love all things makeup. That's kind of how we bonded because we both love makeup so much. We're both professional makeup artists. We're both beauty influencers. She used my palette. It just made me so happy to see like one of my good friends using it. <laughs> I have to tell you guys, I've been feeling so positive lately. If you guys saw, I posted a video last week called Why I'm Insecure. And it got such an amazing response. And it's not easy posting a video like that because like, you have to be very vulnerable to do that. And just the response was so incredible. And it just kind of lifted this huge weight off my shoulder. I didn't even realize that I was carrying. And ever since I posted that, I just feel so much better and so much lighter. And I'm like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm back on my game. I've been falling in love with YouTube again and a lot of it has to do with just engaging with you guys. Like I've always said, when I feel like I'm super connected with you guys, that's when I love YouTube the most. It's hard sometimes because the reality is with the YouTube algorithm, sometimes you guys don't see my videos and that sucks. But when you do see it, please leave me a comment because that's like the best part. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, turn on that little bell so you get notifications as soon as I post. So one of the first products that I was ever introduced to by Catrice Cosmetics was their primers. They have the best primers. Their Prime and Fine Nude Glow Primer was my favorite one. They have the Goodbye Pores. They have the Beautifying Primer, which gives like this beautiful glow to your skin. They have the Fresh It Up, which is great if you have dry skin. This was the first product that kind of made me fall in love with Catrice. I'm gonna use the Nude Glow to start. So the insecurities video, I'm gonna link it for you guys in the description box if you wanna check it out. It was a very different type of video, but it was nice just to read all your comments on how you guys relate and how you can feel the same way. And also, it's something that I'm really working on and I wanna share with you guys because I feel like 
it's such a big part of who I am now. Self-care, self-love, all of that amazing good stuff. And I feel like it's something everyone should be doing. And if you feel good inside, you're gonna feel beautiful on the outside. It's really hard to feel beautiful on the outside when you feel like crap on the inside. So on top of that first primer, I'm also taking the Goodbye Pores Primer. And I'm gonna use that just in the areas where I feel like my pores are a little bit more visible. Just right there. Wow, that made a huge difference. And for foundation, I'm using the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This is a 24 hour mattifying second skin effect foundation. I used this foundation the other day and it gave my skin the most beautiful texture. It was so, so nice. So you guys might notice I have the mirror here now. I noticed that having the mirror closer makes me apply less product and it makes me blend out my makeup a lot better. I was noticing how like, you know, I for filming, I usually have the mirror farther away just so it's not in the camera. And then I would like finish filming, then I would look close and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> how did I not see that? So now I'm just gonna bring it closer just to make sure I don't miss anything at all. Oh my God, this is like going on like butter. My skin looks so smooth. You guys know that I post every Sunday a brand new makeup tutorial every Sunday. I definitely feel like I can start posting two videos a week again and I know that I was doing that before then I kind of slowed down just because of a lot of other things that were going on but I'm definitely feeling like I can get back to the two videos a week which I'm super excited about because some of the projects that I've been telling you guys about are finally coming to life. And one of the things that I want to do more of is just to do more collabs with some of my girlfriends who are makeup artists who also love makeup. So you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more of that. For concealer, I'm going back with that first concealer that I used from Catrice, the Liquid Camouflage. And this concealer is waterproof, it's 24 hour. So this is a very durable concealer. Great for weddings, great for summer. I discovered this new sponge lately, you guys. It's from Elsie Cosmetics. I love that it has this point to it. It makes blending out concealer so much easier. This is like my favorite way to blend out concealer right now. Point, you can just go all the way up to your eyes without messing up any of the eyeshadow. And then I like to kind of twist it around and then use the other side just to blend everything out. I'm not gonna add too much to the lower lash line. I'm using a brand new bronzer that I discovered recently, also from Elsie. It's kind of funny, I found out about Elsie really late in the game, but I have a bunch of the products that I really love and I'm gonna be using in an upcoming video. But the bronzer is one of my favorites. This is their tan bronzer. The color is great, it's super pigmented. I'm just gonna use this all over and you guys might have noticed I didn't contour today. I've been contouring less and less. I've been doing a lot more powder contour, especially for summertime. I'm trying to use less products on my face because it's just so hot. Before I dip into the face palettes, I'm just gonna really quickly finish up the bottom lash line. All I'm gonna do is add a little bit of that Hollywood eyeshadow one more time. I'm gonna use a tiny little brush to do it. I'm gonna spray my brush with a bit of anything just to kind of wet the brush. You could even use water really. And I'm going in with that bronzy shade, Hollywood. Tapping off a lot of it so we don't get any fallout. This color is just gonna make your eye the only other thing I'm gonna do for the lower lash line is mascara and that's it because I really didn't want to have like too much going on on the bottom. Also, this has been my favorite mascara lately. It is the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara from Hourglass. I've been loving it, it works so well. The response on the blush palette has been amazing. The Cheeky Blush Palette, all four shades, have been getting such a great response because they work on so many different skin tones. 
and you can mix and match all the shades to create whatever shade you want. So you can create your own custom shade, which is kind of awesome. So I'm gonna be using the darkest shade. This is Cairo, and I'm gonna show you guys how I like to use this. So I really love using this kind of like a contour, kind of like a bronzer color, and I use that as my base color underneath the other colors that I'm gonna apply. And I use that just more along my cheekbone and I lift it up towards the top of my ears. And then on top of that, I like to go in with the pinky shade. So either Shisha or Alexandria, they're very similar. Alexandria has a bit of shimmer to it. So I'm gonna do Shisha first. And then I pop that more like along the apples of my cheeks and then blend it back. And this has just like a beautiful pinky hue to it. And then I take a little bit of Alexandria and more applied a little bit higher, kind of like where you would apply a bra uh, highlighter. And then for highlighter, same thing. I really love to mix and match. You can kind of use all the shades. Whistler is really nice, bright and white. So that is a beautiful color to, if you wanna do a little bit of pop in your eyes. This is just such a pretty bright highlight. So, so pretty. And then it really depends on your skin tone. That's how you, you're probably gonna pick the right highlight for you. I love Victoria, I love Surrey. I'm gonna dip my brush into Surrey. I keep using my new palettes instead of the old ones. <laughs> That's okay. I have a few. It's fine. <laughs> and I love just using this highlighter all over you guys. It just looks so pretty on the skin. Just take this along the top of the cheekbones, around your temples to give you that just beautiful halo effect on your face. And you don't have to just use one shade. You can mix all the different shades if you want. I wanna keep the lips super nude for this look. I'm using this color from Laura Geller. It is their Nude Kisses Lip Hugging Lip Gloss, and it's just like a really pretty nude. It looks pretty much like how my lips looked before, but it's a gloss, <laughs> and it feels really nice on. If you guys have the palettes, I hope you have fun recreating this look, but you could definitely do this look with any eyeshadow palettes that you have. It's super easy. Be sure to check out Ali's video and Angie's Instagram page in my description box below. The palettes are all officially in stores now. Ulta across the US, Ulta.com and Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. And I know that I've been getting a lot of questions if this is available in the Middle East, Asia and Europe. I'm so sorry, you guys. I wish it was. That is my goal for hopefully my next collab, but for this one, it is only available in Germany and it'll be available in Germany August 23rd. Thank you to everyone that's been posting about my collab and hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. If you love makeup, all things beauty, but if you love beauty from inside and out, then you are at the right place. My name's Iman. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. You could also follow me on Instagram, at Iman, just my name. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next tutorial, which will be a more natural look. And I also have new type of videos coming out for you guys that I'm really excited about. So if you haven't seen my insecurities video, I'm gonna link it for you. Have a peek, leave me a comment, leave me a comment here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.